<sighs> Good evening, salutations, my JH fans. I start off with Nina for a minute. Oh my god, this woman is such a dumbass. <laughs> I swear, it's like the level of delusion this woman has. It's um, it's pretty remarkable. It's it's pretty remarkable. And the one thing that I can say about her is that she is consistent, okay? She might be consistently annoying, consistently stupid, but she is consistent. And I will give her points for that. She snuck there with Ava, drinking it up, you know, toasting it up. And she's talking about how, you know, yeah, she's been kind of nosy and stuff like that. But she's only been doing it to help, you know, she's only been doing it to help people. She's been nosy, but it's for the good of others, pretty much is what she's saying. Let's just all take a, a good five seconds. They all appreciate just how stupid and ass backwards that sounds. The way that she justifies her actions. Oh, I saw her spending a lot of time with, with TJ and stuff like that. I know what's going on. And, 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 and. Usually I'll be angry about that, okay? Because I don't like busy bodies. I don't like nosy people. Like staying, stay in your lane, handle your own ish. You know, I usually get annoyed about that. But it was something that was just so laughable about it that I just couldn't help but smile. I mean, I may be smiling for the wrong reason, but I'm still smiling. So she realized throughout the conversation with Ava that you know what I might have jumped I might have jumped the gun I might have you know or maybe she she realized because Sonny says something but she realized that she was wrong <laughs> and she was like I want to go over there and I want to apologize Nina I think you should just leave that girl alone I really think you should just leave her alone just be like you know what just take the L. She's not going to think anything better of you. Take the L. Take the L. I don't know what's going on with Willow. I don't know what's going on with this woman's acting. I, I It's just, it's not working for me. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's, not, I don't know if it's ever worked for me. Or I've just enjoyed the episode so much that I never really just zeroed in. On, on her acting. I don't know. Maybe she was just having an off day today. Or, or maybe it was just some of the lies they gave her. It's like, ugh. And, I, you know, here's the thing. I'm trying to be somewhat understanding because she is going through a very life-altering, scary thing. Okay? So I don't want anyone to sit there and think that well, I'll say some things that kind of rubs people the wrong way, but it's not like I don't have art. But, uh, I don't know, I just, I can't really do some of the lies she's saying, and if you watch the episode, especially in the beginning, like the line that she says as, as far as hold me, it just, uh, I don't know, it, it just didn't work for me. It didn't work for me, and I, I get the circumstance, but I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I don't know if the line was bad or the way she delivered it was bad, but she's just been having an off week, it seems like, and it has not gotten any better. But Nina does show up and she's like, I just, at first Michael was like, yo, listen, you need to leave. I'm going to call security. Like you can, you can kick rocks. But Willow's like, no, 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 let, let, let her, let her speak. And so she apologized. She's like, you know, I'm, I misspoke and everything like that. And Willow wasn't having it. Okay. Willow was like, yeah, you know what I want you to do? I want you to drop that. That's, that's what I want you to do. She walked off. And, of course, Nina went back to Ava. It was like, oh, she was being so rude, and this, that, and third. And I was like, here's the thing about here's the thing about apologies. Just because you say it doesn't mean that other people have to accept it, okay? You don't get to just do whatever it is that you want to do and then say, oopsies, my bad, and everything just goes away. Oh, she apologized. And, um, I mean, it's totally cool now. You know, it's not like I'm not dealing with, I don't know, 
everything going on. I mean, she could have, you know, really compromised their marriage, their their or their relationship, just by opening up her mouth, saying what she says instead of just I don't know, staying in your own lane. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We good, right? We we be cool. No, kick rocks. Uh. Even Paulina on Days of Our Lives said that to Sloan. And I found that I found that funny. I mean, well, she didn't say it to Sloan. She said it about Sloan, but still. Uh, <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz. We just, we just going down the list. We just going down the list. So Liz sees Esme, right? The woman who set up Trina, who just comes across as a mean, deranged criminal at this point. She's, she's a criminal. Let me give you a little pro tip, okay? If you see somebody that belongs in jail, you don't announce that you're calling the cops. I, I'm just like, oh, this chick is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me call the cops in front of this chick because, of course, she's not going to wild out on me. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Oh, you're such an idiot. <laughs> such an idiot. So, of course, Esme pushes her. And she's like, oh, I'm conscious. And, you know, eventually Nicholas catches up to her. And he he sees Liz to make sure she's okay. The whole time I'm sitting there thinking, um, you, you're just going to have your, your back turned to the, to, the, to the psychopath? I didn't realize at the time that um, Nicholas did bring a, a guard with him. So brings back to Spoon Island. Of course, Edmund's like, you're screwed when she finds out. Everyone knows I'm around. Everyone knows I'm alive. They called the cops and everything like that. You're going to be done. And Nicholas is like, no, I'm not worried about that because once you deliver the baby, uh, you're done, so pretty much. So that happens. You know, this is something that DC Soap Sanctuary said. What made soaps and stuff like that so much better back in the day was the fact that the internet wasn't really around. It wasn't really prevalent. So we didn't know who was going to get killed off, who was not going to get killed off, because you got contracts. You know, people on contract, people on contract, eh, they're, they're going to, they, you're not really so much worried about them. And I thought about that today, and it, it makes me think about Reese, Reese Marshall. And I felt like, because back in the day, I didn't know what happened. I was just like, oh man, she, she got killed thoughtfully. It's crazy. If the internet was prevalent now, like it was back then, and I actually had the internet, well, and I was actually doing reviews, so I sit there and think about the mind frame I was. I probably would have knew a long time ago that the reason that she allegedly got fired, Reese Marshall, the um, actress that plays her, was pregnant. And basically, she was like, the reason why they fired me is because I got pregnant. Um, now... I will say this before I move on. If that's true, I don't know how much I can blame them. Let's, before, well, maybe fire, wouldn't have, they, they could have probably did something else. But let's look at it this way. The actress that played Lulu, now, she was pregnant. Okay. And after a while, they weren't even trying to do use any sort of camera tricks or anything like that. And every time I saw her, it took me out of the episode. It took me out of her out of her scenes. Because I knew that the character couldn't get pregnant. And, you know, before I started doing reviews, people would sit there and say, well, she's going to stay there. And, you know, she's going to stay there up until they give you know, up until she gets birth, and I'm like, 
he really didn't have to do that. He could have been like, let's switch her off to somebody else because this is literally taking people out the scene. And people were, it was, it was a, it was a big thing. Um, I was like, where am I going? <laughs> but I mean, just going back to the internet being prevalent and just not knowing, like now we just, we have so much information that I don't want to sit there and say we have too much information, but it, there's no, there's not really that much of an element of surprise. Uh, what we got next. So Heather comes to see, well, Heather comes to the diner, sees Cam. It's a great scene because it's super pretentious. And, you know, Cam gives her fries and, and burger and everything. They're talking about Franco and, you know, Heather is talking about how much Franco can stop talking about him. You know, keeping, him, keeping her up to date as far as him probably going to college soon. You know, Franco and, and um, Cam had this amazing relationship because it didn't start off. As, as friendly or kind. But towards the end, he grew to love him as a father. And so every, you know, when Heather was sent to talk about Franco and how much, you know, he talked about Cam, you can tell there was a, a, a huge amount of love there. And in all reality, I think that's what saved him, you know, from Heather. Because <laughs> Heather, you know, old school Heather probably would just been done so with him. Okay. And she had that knife, and she was doing this, that, and the third. But I just knew that she wasn't going to do anything because she was just talking about her son, how much she loved, how much he loved Cam. Even when you know she knew that Cam called the cops, talked to Dante. Dante came in there. A couple of things that Dante did. That I was just like, bro, I know that this is a soap opera. We all know that this is a soap opera, okay? But what are you doing? I need you to drop the knife. But before you do that, I'm going to put my gun away. And um, we're just going to work on an honor system. We're, we're good. Right? I, I can just trust you to put the knife down. So she puts the knife down. She drops the knife. And he gets close to her. Okay? He doesn't kick the knife away or anything like that. You know, things that, you know, an actual cop would do. He just picks up the knife and that's it and I'm like bro <laughs> what what are you doing there's just so much wrong in this whole scene I just I don't even know where to begin oh my god <laughs> I just I can't help it I really can't I'm I'm just like really so he picks up the knife. They talk a little bit. Cam even gives her a to-go bag. And, you know, Heather grabs um, Dante's arm like she is chauffeuring him, chauffeuring her back, you know, back to the, to the loony bin. Okay? Back to the loony bin. And I'm just like, so we're not going to put her in... We're not going to put her in cops, right? No? Why would we do that? I mean, we just did so much other things wrong. We might as well just continue to trend at this point. Consistency. Good job, Dante. Good job. Of course, you know, he was talk talking to Jordan about <clears throat> Heather and um, Anna and everything like that. But I, I just, I had to zero on this moment because I'm just like, Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Oh. Jordan questions Liz after Deanna thinks that she has any sort of power. I'm like, Deanna, can you just like go away for like five minutes and let the grown ups talk? Can you can you do that? She's over she's just a little protective. I, yeah, we get it. Can she just like walk somewhere like other than this room? Because that would be really nice. Um, I I feel like Liz was protecting Nicholas because when Jordan asked, well, who was there? Who else was there? And she was like, oh, I can't remember him. It's foggy and everything. I'm like, 
girl, you know, you, you know, you can remember, you know, you know, damn well, you can remember who it was. Okay. We're not going to say damn play. You, you know who it was. All right. Oh, Dex. I feel like at this point that they're going to make Dex the new Jason. Because they, they, let's be honest, I know a lot of people feel like Jason Fresden isn't lacking and that the storyline has moved on, and that's kind of true. But at the same time, Jason can still be needed in the show. Now, we know, if you heard from James, you heard from me yesterday during the live stream, that, you know, Steve is going to be returning to, to Days of All Lives. I'll get into it when, when I talk about it during the live stream. We can sit there and just chop it up about my thoughts on that. Because there, there's a lot. But the show still needs a Jason. Okay, still, show still needs Jason. While we at it, we can sit there and throw in a mini Carly. Okay, does this scene seem familiar? Okay, you got Dex that's bleeding from a gunshot wound. Luckily, the the bullet passed through. You got Joss that is kind of screamish, but she she's brave enough to sit there and kind of sew him up and everything and. Now, even though she doesn't want to do it, and even though she got this, you know, oh, well, what's going on, this, that, and the third, and kind of give him a flat point, like you should be in the hospital, and yada, 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 she helps him out. Yeah, so that happens. And, of course, right afterwards, there's a moment where they're about to kiss, because it's coming, it's coming. Cam is going to be dealing with a psychopath, and she is still, is is um sewing up the guy that she is eventually going to sit there and cheat with. Uh, I love this show. You know, it always makes me question. Because I think this is pretty much about it. It always makes me question. And the one thing that I love about these soaps is that it gives me an endless stream of things to talk about. It always makes me wonder just how people... I mean, granted, you, you get on stream, you start talking or whatever... Um, sometimes you could talk about stuff that's really interesting. Sometimes you don't really even have a roadmap, an idea of what you really want to talk about, a, a topic that you want to talk about. These soaps, it's just endless. It always makes me wonder, you know, with, with the way that things are going, these shows, you know, days has moved to Peacock, um, GH, I don't know what their status is. Days have been, I mean, GH has been going on the longest. And then you got the other two. This makes you wonder. But I like to sit there and think that, I mean, granted, if I wasn't talking about soaps, I'd be sitting there talking about another show. Some shows, a couple of shows that people are into, I'd be sitting there having a good conversation. Because I know besides the fact that people watch these shows, these soap operas, other things that people watch. And I like to sit there and think that I'll still have the same amazing subscribers, the same amazing supporters that I do right now, chopping it up. But it's just, it's interesting. Let me just double check to make sure I got everything. I feel like I got the important stuff. I mean, oh, Victor was there. He was looking for Valentine and told both of Nina and Ava that Esme is on the loose. Running around, running rapid. I feel like that's about it. Anyway, um, before I go, <clears throat> because I said this yesterday, but you know, I'll sit there and say it again. And I've been doing the live streams all this week. I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow. And then moving forward, moving forward, I'm, I'm I'm going to try to make a video at some point about this. Um, Monday through Friday. I'm going to be doing live streams. Um, 8 p.m. Eastern Pacific Standard Time. That is Monday through Friday. I'm going to be sitting there doing that. I'm still going to be doing the reviews. So that's not that's not going to, you know. But I feel like, you know, sometimes even when I don't get a chance to do a review, I can sit there and at least chop it up and, and talk about it with people. 
Um, but I don't want people to sit there and think that I'm, I'm, I'm doing one and I'm not doing the other. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do days tonight. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do days. Then I'm watching it. So if people want to sit there and ask me questions. We can sit there and talk about that. Um, but as far as the reviews is concerned, that's, that's not, it's not going away. I just want to add something, add something else to what I'm doing because I just, I really enjoy doing a lot of shit. I really enjoy Smithy talking to people and just really talking about the show. And, you know, there's a lot of times that I don't, I don't always get a chance to, you know, go in the comment section and read the comments. So I feel like this is another way that I can also interact with people and just, you know, want to know what people are really thinking about the shows. Because, you know, people's opinions and stuff like that does definitely help me in how I look at these shows and how I go about them. Um, you know, my reviews, my streams in general, just, you know. So it's always really helpful. It's not just I, I, I love reading them, I do, but it, it's also gives me as well. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see everyone in the next video slash next live stream, whatever one or both. I'll definitely see you.